Hey everyone, welcome back. Man, this heat is real. The car is reading 101 degrees. Oh, but I'm ready to get my day started. I did not go out earlier today just because it was ridiculous. I'm kind of questioning my motive of going out right now, but I'm gonna turn on all the apps and we are going to multi-app tonight and hopefully get some good orders in this heat wave we got going on. So guys, let's officially kick off today and let's go make some money. I just picked up an Uber Eats order. Five guys, fries were ready, order was ready. Go figure, milkshakes weren't ready. Finally, they got some milkshakes and I was out the door. I know where I'm going for this delivery. It's on a main road. I just hope it's not complicated. But the person left really detailed notes. Whenever I feel like someone reads sometimes like really detailed notes, I'm like, oh, they live in a complicated area. And I feel like I'm like, oh, are they, do they live in a complicated apartment complex? Oh, I don't know, I guess time will tell. Only a couple of blocks away. I ended up taking another Uber Eats order. It was one item, so I'm assuming it might have been sitting there for a little bit. I mean, granted, that's a $12 order for one item. Maybe someone's being super generous because it's hot as heck outside. I don't know. It's wishful thinking. Maybe that's that optimistic. <laughs> my, my optimistic side kicking in, but hey, $12, I'll take it. Like, 
oh, Grubhub, what are you thinking? And the restaurants aren't even like close together. The drop-offs are close. To me, they just absolutely make no sense whatsoever. <laughs> and then on top of that, do you guys, did you guys, if you guys do Grubhub, so I in my area had a mission Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't even ask me what it was, but just by declining as much as I do with Grubhub, I disqualified myself on Friday. But what I find so annoying is every time you decline an order this weekend on Grubhub, they send you that little message that says you can still qualify for blank mission and like Grubhub. That ship has sailed on Friday. Stop sending me this every time I decline one of your orders. So let me know, did you guys, are you guys finding the same thing? Is it as equally annoying to you as it is for me? Because, ugh, frustrating. waiting all night for a Grubhub order besides like the ridiculous orders from Grubhub that were coming in today so maybe once I pick these two up and I'm on my way hopefully maybe I'll get a little bit on a Grubhub roll even though I really want Uber Eats because I have that quest going on I'm not picky just a good order would be fantastic right now <laughs> I forgot one thing. I might have to break out the parka and get my hood on because um, it went down to 95 degrees. Just kidding. <laughs> it's pretty bad when I get excited that it went from over 100 degrees to 95 degrees. That's how you know it's bad. <laughs> I'm going in. way 
to the first restaurant right now to go pick it up. It's a little wacky, a little wacky. So from the looks of the map, I'm gonna pick up this restaurant, which I'm literally less than a mile away, and then I am going to drive to the second restaurant, but the first drop off is by the second restaurant, and then the second drop off is by where I just delivered. <laughs> So once again, it's like there, back, there, back. I feel like the Grubhub does a lot of pinging back and forth between deliveries. I feel like sometimes their stacked orders just don't make sense. I guess according to them, they make sense, but to a driver, sometimes they just don't make sense. I understand their method to their madness. I just feel like they just don't make sense. But another thing I've been noticing, and this goes for Uber Eats and Grubhub in particular. It doesn't, well, it can't happen on DoorDash. They've been lately in my area, and all it's because it's been busier and it's been picking up, but it's almost like these two platforms don't want you to leave their platforms and they try anything to send you another order before your next order is dropped off. And I feel like that's their hook to make sure that you're not like going back and forth between platforms and it's their way of getting you to stay on their platforms because who's gonna turn down a $35 stacked order and usually they kind of hit you hard. There's been instances where they sent me orders and I'm like yeah no never gonna happen and um, decline. <laughs> but for the most part that's how I usually get stuck on either Grubhub or Uber Eats and that's also how I make some of my good money coming from both of these platforms because they, they hook you in and they don't let you go. <laughs> I just picked up the first order of that $35 stacked order. Here's my question for you guys and leave it in the comments. How long are you willing to wait for an order? So knowing this is a $35 stacked order, here's what happened. Walked in, they never got the notification about a Grubhub order so they didn't even put in the order. It's 15 items. Ooh. And they said it was going to take 10 to 15 minutes. How long do you wait for a $35 staff to order granted? I waited. And I was willing to wait because it's a $35 staff to order. I, was I would probably wait even up to a half hour for an order that big. Usually my rule of thumb is 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm out. But I feel like your wait time kind of differs <laughs> depending on how big the order is. They were really good. They literally got my order out. I think it was like 10 or 15 minutes. So they were really good. Most restaurants aren't that quick. So just curious. Leave it in the comments. How long are you willing to wait for a restaurant for an order? Shop and pay time. Walgreens right behind me. I'm telling you, Uber Eats has been coming up with some really good shop and pays lately. So I'm shopping for one item. It's Johnson Johnson's baby powder. Let's hope they have it. there's a first for everything but the baby powder from the shop and deliver I delivered it to a guest at a wedding venue strange before I drop off though I got this order if I complete this really quickly there's a slight chance I might be able to get one more order and to complete the quest before it runs out I don't know what we'll kind of see but I'm just happy so far with the way things are kind of working out tonight with all the apps, so let's get this one done. Okay, everyone, I am done. I am heading home. What to say about tonight? I feel like it was fast, it was furious, and orders were coming in, and I feel like it was a good night. So maybe 
the heat brought out the craziness of people because people were driving crazy today and a lot of wacky people but maybe it helped people order because someone wanted to cook who knows but DoorDash, I took at the very beginning advantage of that $3 peak pay today. Grubhub, I completed two missions. I don't even know how I did that for $3 a piece, so six extra dollars thanks to Grubhub mission. And then Uber, I squeaked in that final order to complete one mission, I mean, one quest from Uber today. So here are my totals for the entire day. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. And if you want to learn how I multi-app, don't forget to check out this video right here.